Hello everyone, what is going on today? Caleb one to nine eight bring another five battle for today's common question of the day. What is your favorite fossil Pokemon? Um fossil being that they get resurrected from the fossils during the game and such as like Aerodactyl or uh Cradillion stuff. But my favorite has to be the Omastar, um just being such thing really cool. Back in like Nintendo sixty four I kept using spike cannon. Which actually a very very cool animation move on, on Nintendo 64. So I thought that was really cool, but nowadays in 5th gen it's very powerful with a shell smash and also being extremely bulky and physically defensive. Um can run various different sets and also do tons of damage to the opponent team. So what is your favorite fossil Pokemon? Please comment below. And for today's match I got a shorter battle for you guys today is a NU battle against Sunna 101. Um link will be in the description to his channel. He doesn't upload Pokemon stuff, but he does upload some uh, I think Call of Duty and some other FPS games. So uh, you guys can go check them out if you guys want. Anyways, today's team I'm bringing you guys the NU Pelipper team. As you guys did see yesterday's upload, link will be in the bottom right hand corner of this video and also in the description if you guys want to see a team analysis on that. Anyways, on his side of the team, uh, he's got a pretty offensive team with the Huntail, Rampartus, and Sock being extremely fast and troublesome. Um, if Huntail is a cell smash, and Rampardo is mostly being Choice and Sock. Now, Ditto, I'm thinking mostly the Choice Scarf because they're mostly very good at revenge killing, being in the Imposter and just killing stuff. Um, let's get it started with this battle. I'm going to lead off with our model. He's going to lead off with Gigalith, and we're both going to help Dolph Rock this turn. Um, he could probably Stone Edge me and do a ton of damage to me, but at the same time, I am mostly defensive, and uh, most of our models are defensive. I am physically, however, though. So, um, I'm going to go into my Wardy now. These guys are going to predicting his Stone Edge. Now, he makes a great player right here. He goes with a normal gen explosion. Now, I'm not really sure if he should go for that so early in the game just because he does have a full health gigalith there and he could use it later for the resistances or just a little pivot switch right there. But he does decide to sacrifice and he makes a good play in taking out one of my main sweepers on my team, my Seismitub. Now, if I did have Armaldo in, um, I would have resisted the explosion and not done a whole ton of damage to my uh, team. However, though, he does make a great play there. And he's going to bring in Ninja as, as I do just bring out back to my Ramus, the Armaldo, as he does go over Protect right here. I'm going to go over a Stone Age knowing that I am life forward and I can just easily kill off the Ninja because Ninja is frail as crap. Now, um, he's going to decide to Baton Pass and I was thinking, oh no, that is, that is bad, that is bad. Because if he decides to switch into Sock, he would resist my Stone Age and do a ton of damage to my team. However, though, he does switch into the Rampartos and I go over the Stone Age. Luckily, I don't miss and it's not resisted by other Rock types. And look at his damage. This is just crazy power. The power of an uh, offensive Armaldo almost kills a Rampardo from full health. He could go over Earthquake and this is why also Armaldo is a beast. It's physical natural bolt and just be able to take that with life or recall. I live with an amazing 11 HP and that's just epic. Now he's gonna bring in a soft be able to revenge kill me really easily because he does have stealth rocks up, rocks up. If I do switch out my Armaldo does die on entry. Um, he's gonna go for the close combat and does not have leftovers or life or recoil so that shows me that he's obviously choice. Knowing that I can go into my Pelipper, which does resist the close combat, so I can go for a free attack on whatever that is to bring in, which is in the form of a ninja as that fought a great play on his part seeing what kind of Pelipper I am, because some Pelipers are defensive, some Pelipers are offensive. In this case, he does know that he is, I am offensive with the Hurricane. I probably should have went for Rain Ant right there, but at the same time, um, I'm not going to go to switch into. Anyways, I'm going to go into my Shellgon, the defensive beast as he does go for the stone edge, lock himself into that, predicting me to Zane with Pelipper, which is a pretty bad choice on his part because that does barely any damage to my epic, epic huddler. Um, he's going to go into his ditto now to imposter himself um, to get the shell gone and be able to just throw me out with the dragon claw. Now, I'm thinking right here that they have no leftovers, that he's probably the offensive set. I'm going to go for protect, seeing what he was locking himself into if he is choice, which I'm thinking most dittos are because uh, ditto's a great revenge killer. Um, I'm knowing that he's locking the Dragon Claw most likely, I'm going to go into my mechanized Z Clang as he does go for Dragon Claw as said before. And being a Violite and being that my Shellgon myself does not have that many boosts, in fact it had no boosts, it would do no damage to it. Now I'm going to go for a Substitute as he does decide switching in his Sock, um, just to go for a Close Combat Substitute to take out my uh, Clang. Uh, I go for a Substitute right there, he does go with Close Combat as said before, and take out myself pretty easily right there. And I Maybe went for should have went for a shift gear here to get my speed boost, but I was not sure if this off a choice card. If it was, I would have easily have spent my clank, and I would have wasted a complete free Pokemon and free damage on this sock. That's why I went for a gen right here. I almost kill it. I mean, if I did shove a shift gear and be able to outfeed the sock, I would have easily KO'd it. But unfortunately, I do lose my clank to the sock. But um, on the good side, though, I do leave 
this Pokemon with a very low amount of HP, it would die to Stealth Rock coming in. So I'm going to switch in my uh, Pelipper right now, and um, he's going to go for another close combat. All my Pelipper, that is totally fine with me, because I do care the roots on this thing. Um, thanks to Pan Fried Set, I can get some recovery, even though I do have Life Orb Recoil, and um, Water Flying isn't the best type of round. I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump now, as it does... I'm gonna go into the roof, sorry. And he does keep going for close combat, so it's hoping for crit trying to kill me off. But by this time, uh, I'm just hoping here for not a crit. I, he luckily does not get any. I can go for another roof to get all my HP back as he does just wearing down bit by bit. I'm trying to TP some just a bit here. And he does run out right here. Gonna go for the struggle, which is quite funny. Um, there's barely any damage to me. And I did go for Hydro Pump there with a sufficient amount of HP to be able to kill this thing. Now he's down to his last two Pokemon, his Huntail and his Ditto. Now I didn't go for Rain Dance on um, this whole entire match because I was afraid of this Huntail. Huntail uses carry Switch Swim ability, which does double the speed in rain, which two of my Pokemon on the team also carry, so would have been extremely threatening, especially with a Shell Smash. However though, he does waste his Huntail in vain, and I do manage to hit my Hurricane without any rain, and just kill off this Huntail. He has minus one special defense, so there was no way he'll be living that. He's gonna go into his last Pokemon, the Ditto. And I transform into my Pelipper. Now he's gonna go for the Hurricane, try to kill me off. That unfortunately he does miss, and I do hit my Hurricane for the easy KO and the win. So uh, pretty straightforward match right there. But any, but no matter what, it was a pretty good game. Stunner 101. Remember to go check them out for some FPS game. Also leave a like in the description, answer the comment question today, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out more of my videos and be notified of whenever I upload. So I'll see you guys later. This is Kato1298 saying peace.